come on. This is how you ride one, guys. Just like this. Pretty easy, Bobby. a little alleyway next to Boyd and Wertherman's here in Berlin, Ohio. Get ready to head into the oldest building here in this town. Built in 1817. Now this place specializes in pizza and bubble waffles. What's it called, Bobby? The colorful Cookery. The Colorful Cookery. It's right back there. It's very hidden. We're going to go in here. We're going to get some pizza get the bubble waffle we'll come out here and we'll show you guys what it's all about so are you ready Bobby I'm ready let's rock and roll let's rock and roll She has the wall here and it says you're never too important to be nice to people and everybody's riding on the walls. There we are. There we are. So if you guys come in here, you can look for our name. They do have all the names on the wall. It's a nice saying. Mm -hmm. Here's the inside. It's a little tiny place. Chips. and also have the menu in here all right guys I'm with Heather who's the owner of the colorful cookery and she's gonna tell you a little bit about her shop all right hi guys um, this here is the colorful cookery I opened this up uh, in May of 2020 uh, it was a little scary at first but uh, here we are two years later I just celebrated my two-year anniversary um, I offer pizza stromboli and specialty waffles. Um, the waffles are called bubble waffles. Some people may have heard of them. Um, this is one all done up. This is a peanut butter chocolate one. Um, you can get all kinds of different waffles. There's different uh, flat ones with ice cream, without ice cream. They come in this bubbly shell. It's a cross between a breakfast waffle and an ice cream cone. I lay it down like a taco and fill it with ice cream and top it like a sundae. You can top it however you like. I include a lot of fresh berries, bananas, uh, there's pina colada, things like that. Um, the star of the show, in my opinion, is the pizza. Um, I do uh, a Sicilian style, New York style pizza. Um, so you come in, I have pizza by the slice all the time. Uh, stromboli um, is made to order. I hand stretch all my dough. I make my sauce, my sausage. I get all the best ingredients I can from local sourcing. Walnut Creek Foods is a huge, huge provider. I stop there almost every day. Otherwise, I'm smack dab in the heart of Amish country. I'm in the oldest building in Berlin, parking against in the back. I have a wonderful patio to sit and eat at during the summer. Otherwise, grab and go. All right, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye. Let's look at the menu at the colorful cookery. Tidbits, garlic cheese bread, some salads, stromboli, pizza by the slice. You build your own pizza. There's some dessert. Specialty pizzas. There's a carnivore one down there. All kind of meat on it. Pepperoni, sausage, bacon, and ham. A bubble waffle menu. Flat waffles, very good. Flat as a pancake and don't be salty. Build your own, you pick a waffle, choose your ice cream and get your additional toppings. And the fancy waffles, peanut butter and chocolate, strawberry, banana, Nutella, whipped berries, I think we're gonna get that. Pina colada, breakfast club, 
and the split don't split your pants. $22 for that. That's definitely going to be shared with somebody. Let's take a look at the box. It's perfect size perfect for us. Size. Looks good, huh, Bobby? It does. So this just came out of the oven. and pepperoni that's all you need this should be great because always got great ingredients up here in Amish country I'm gonna start with the crust you like the crust <laughs> everybody knows I love crust you can see it's done perfect isn't it mm -hmm. that cheese is a little bit of hot hot I got the sauce the sauce is excellent cheese going everywhere a little bit of grease there we like that Plenty of pepperoni on there. I'm ready to try it. Let's dig in. There it is. Look. Oh, before you take this. a big bite, that cheese is very hot. So that means I'm going to burn myself and I won't be able to eat you the are. rest of this trip. Very windy up here. Perfectly. It's thin, excellent cheese. Probably the Walnut Creek cheese, that's what she shops at. Pepperoni tastes great. Definitely tells fresh. Second bite just as good as the first, New York style. Fold it up. This is great pizza. I want to say this because I'm going to forget about it. You know, when you're in Amish country, it's all these Amish buffets, nothing open at night, like you said. Swing in here and get some pizza. Yeah, and this is a small, and there's eight slices. Yeah, and they make a large if you want some. So take it back to your room or just relax. But help this girl out. It's the local, kind of hidden, hidden gem here off the main drag. Been here for two years. That sounds great. Let's keep it going. So we're looking at the menu, and there is a gluten-free pizza. The crust is made out of cauliflower. Never tried it, but if you can't eat gluten, you know, if you have trouble with that, you might want to get one of those pizzas. Another option here. Here is our bubble waffle with all the berries. Tell us about it, Bobby. It looks yummy. It's got uh, some strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, some ice cream, cool whip, and Condensed milk. Yep. Sweet condensed milk and a raspberry glaze. Raspberry, there's a raspberry sauce. Sauce. Underneath okay. there, you can kind of see it under there. So try that. It's almost too pretty to eat. Almost like the, the thing I got up to We're Pittsburgh the other it, day. Right. Some ice cream in there. Huh? There you go. All those berries. The berries are really fresh. Ice cream is very cold. I'm going to get a piece of this waffle. Yeah, you didn't get a piece of that. Yeah. Like she said, it's a little crisp. And it's it's sweeter than a normal waffle. $8, you can't beat that. A small would have been 5 But that's probably the way to go, especially for two people. Going in, guys. I'm going to get the waffle. A little bit of that. I'm going to get... I'm gonna get a strawberry. Did you get a strawberry? I think I did. I have a bunch of berries. I get it. There. I love the taste of that waffle in there. With that fresh fruit. I can definitely tell it's fresh. With the ice, I mean everything. I just just a good combination of freshness. I just like to have the waffle. I mean the waffle, <laughs> yeah, that waffle, you guys can see. Right there. I watched her make it. There's a lot of fruit on there. Mm-hmm. And with that ice cream. And the crunch of the waffle. So that's a nice summer dessert. Mm -hmm. You can sit here and watch people shopping because there's tons of shops in this area. And then take a little break, come back here and get some pizza and dessert. You got to get this. Looks like there's about three pieces, three scoops of ice cream on there. Almost forgot to show our receipt. There's the address. It was 1925 altogether. That's for the pizza, the waffle, and the drink. Not bad. Let me show you guys 
where this place is located at. Now there's Boyd and Worthermans, one of the most popular restaurants here in town. You just walk by it. This little alleyway, there's Bobby back there. This building, the oldest building, it has a sign here. Right there, 1817. There's the tiny sign of the place. You can sit in these two little outside tables. There's no seating inside. You just head in that door. I'll show you guys how much parking's in the back. Sometimes when you come to this town, it's very hard to get parking. Here's your Boyd and Worthermans restaurant parking. Here you go. Colorful cookery. Plenty of spots back here. Well, we just left the colorful cookery. What did you think of it, Bobby? First, I wanted to say thanks, Heather, for taking some time out of your day to talk with us. And thank you for making me the best pizza I have ever wow, eaten. Best pizza ever. Best. <laughs> uh, the homemade sauce, the cheese, and the pepperoni. It was delicious. And the crust it was made perfect. What do you think about the dessert? I liked it too. The waffle cone, I loved it. It was uh, crisp, but it was also really sweet. And the berries were so fresh. And she had diff four different kind of berries. Yeah. And all that, that ice cream. <laughs> Three scoops of ice cream. She told me the fruit came from the Walnut Creek store, which we told you guys before. That's where we shop at when we come up here. So it was definitely fresh. Oh, before I forget, that cheese did not come from Walnut Creek. Everything else was good. She uses the cheese on other stuff, but not on the pizza. Uses it, I think, on the salads. But it was a provolone and mozzarella mix. And it was excellent on that mm -hmm. pizza. Yeah, the pizza was bendable, was done right. Like Bobby said, sauce, homemade. Nothing, nothing was bad about it. Uh, dessert for $8. I don't think you could make that at home for $8 mm -hmm. for all that fruit and the ice cream and the condensed milk. Everything's going up. I'm glad we went to this shop. She was super friendly. Hidden gem for you guys. We found you a hidden gem here in Berlin, Ohio. Now, what did you say her hours? Monday? Oh, yeah, on the uh, Monday, yeah, she's closed right now, but this summer she's going to be open. Closed on Sunday all the time, but, but on the weekend, she's open till 7, Friday and Saturday night, and to 5 on the weekdays. Get your pizza if, you're, if it's close to 5. Take it back to your room, sit on your balcony, look at this beautiful countryside, and eat it. After you've eaten all these buffets, get some pizza once in a while up here. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. <laughs>